shit around my neck, but it's a part of when you validate what the fuck I say. Like shit. Nigga, I'm saying this shit, you see the diamonds, nigga. And you tend to you tend to take that a little more seriously. So I, and that's a condition all of us suffer on. All of us suffer under that. I don't care if you think you're above the cheap, gaudy jewelry shit. The guys that pull up in a BMW for a meeting in Los Angeles are taken more seriously than the guys that pull up in a Camry. So in Los Angeles, there's this huge boom market of just being able to rent luxury cars for three hours for a meeting. Like, think about that. Think of the front that it takes to do that. So my first, first indictment was against us. We perpetuate what we learned from Reaganomics. And that and that's that business, right? you know? So I, I think that we can get off our bullshit. In the second verse, I criticize what Reagan did to us. I talk about the end of the Reagan era. I'm like level 12, old enough to understand that shit had changed forever. They declare war on drugs like a war on terror. What it really did was that the police terrorized some effort. But mostly black boys, but they would call us niggas and lay us on our bellies while their fingers on their triggers, their boots was on our heads, their dogs was on our crotches, and they would beat us up if we had diamonds on our watches. And they would take our drugs and monies as they pick our pockets. I guess that that's the privilege of police and bus and profits. Now, New York, right now, the biggest thing going on is stopping friends. Stop the friends. Right now. And, and, you know, motherfuckers hear this shit like I'm talking about 20 years ago, 30 years ago, but I'm talking about now. I guess that it's the police is on police and some profits. But thanks to economics, prisons turn to profits. Because free labor is the cornerstone of U.S. economics. I saw someone put in a comment, that's not right. The U.S. economy was built on slavery. That's not saying, oh man, you crackers made me mad. That's just saying, if you give me 400 years of free labor, I'm gonna get rich as a motherfucker. It's just a smart thing, it's not even a judgment. Because free labor is the cornerstone of U.S. economics. Free labor is a cornerstone. Still is. Right? Because slavery was abolished, unless you are in prison. You don't, you, you, you let's say you don't, you, slavery was abolished, unless you are in prison. You think I am bullshitting, then read the 13th Amendment. Involuntary servitude and slavery get prohibited. Wow. That's why they're giving drug offenders time and double digits. Mm. So think about that. Slavery is only illegal if you don't go to jail for a half ounce a week. Once you go to jail, you're legally a slave again. And in the third verse, we just bring this shit home. Ronald Reagan was an actor, not at all a factor. Just an employee of the country's real masters. Just like the Bushes, Clinton, and Obama. Just another talking head, telling lies on teleprompters. Well, if you don't believe the theory, then argue with this logic. Why did Reagan and Obama both go after the doctor? We invaded sovereign soil, going after oil, taking countries as a hobby paid for by the oil lobby. Same as in Iraq and Afghanistan. And I'm in the job said they're coming for our reign. They only love the rich and how they love the poor. Well, if I say any more, they might be at my door. Who the fuck is that staring in my window? That's when you drop that new Doing that surveillance on Mr. Michael Winter. I'm dropping off the grid before I pump the lid. I leave you with four words. I'm glad Reagan did. Which came from KRS was, yo, I'm kinda glad Nixon died. So uh, this whole album is just an art, it's just an archive of what hip hop is giving me. It's just an archive. And the same truths that were true in 1984 are true now. So I invite you to take the album, listen to it again, dissect it apart, argue over the shit, and you know put it on a pedestal that should be on. Not because I made it, because I really made this record for us as a collective. Because I still feel like rap music is important. Yeah. I read something this week as I was preparing for this interview. I read something...